First off, I want to make it clear that this video is sponsored by Lexar and their NM800 PCIe Gen 4x4 NVMe SSD. And it's a rather good match because this video is all about Microsoft's Direct Storage API and how that's likely to kind of transform how games load in, their performance, and why a blazing fast drive like this will soon be your best friend. Game loading times can be painfully long for an impressive number of reasons. GTA 5 Online is a prime example of a large game that takes forever to load, but most of that loading time was actually just kind of bad programming. Rockstar had the game parsing a big block, a 10 megabyte block of JSON data, basically a, a really long text file, on a single thread, which took ages. There's an excellent, uh, that's an excellent read by the way, I'll link that whole uh, sort of blog post article in the description, but thankfully Rockstar have now issued a fix for that and it is much faster. Now other load in times can be, well, just generally slow just because it's a large game and your storage device isn't all that fast. Loading Cyberpunk 2077, for example, from a, a SATA hard drive is going to take something like 30 seconds, but on the, the Lexar NM800 PCI Gen 4x4 drive, well, it's more like 8 seconds. That is a considerable improvement and can actually go a long way to making an open world game like that much more playable and enjoyable. But if you were to compare loading from, say, a, a slower Gen 3 drive instead, well, then it's more like just a one second difference. That's hardly impressive for sure, but that's because there is another bottleneck. And that's actually technically your CPU. Okay, technically speaking, your CPU isn't the actual problem, it's how games currently have to load data from storage. You'd like to think that the graphics card can just ask your drive for the data it needs, and then it gets it. But no, that's, uh, that's much too simple. Uh, instead, the data needs to get loaded from your drive to your system memory via your CPU, then back to the graphics card again via the CPU. This delay can hurt both the, the game loading times and occasionally even the outright performance and is one of the reasons why we need more and more VRAM or graphics memory as the GPU needs to store kind of more than it needs to keep everything moving smoothly. So enter Direct Storage, part of Microsoft's DirectX 12, or I suppose D3D12 specifically, API. That lets your graphics card load directly from your storage, which is a pretty huge improvement. It's only just launched, so games aren't supporting it just as of yet, and yes, the games themselves need to implement it, so older titles, especially any that aren't DirectX 12 titles already, likely won't see that added. However, newer titles should be able to start adding or, or sort of design with that in mind and be designed in the knowledge that the GPU can be much more efficient in swapping out data from the VRAM from storage, which means that they can be, I suppose, more free to design levels and worlds without as much concern for VRAM capacity. And that's where having an insanely fast drive like this can come into it. So, with the, the Lexar NM800, it can peak at 7.4 gigabytes per second in reads, which is plenty to keep your GPU happy. It is also worth noting that the NM800 also features a low density parity check, so it's sort of checking all of your data and repairing any errors automatically so that you can be confident that even while using direct storage and having all of your data fed directly to your GPU, you'll have a stable and reliable experience. Okay, so you can stream data from your drive directly, so what? Well, gone are the days where you need to load the entire level and everything in it before you can play on it. Instead, we use what's called asset streaming. Some games do this for entire sections of the map, like GTA V or Cyberpunk, 
and some do it for just individual objects, often further away in the distance, but things that you're, say, getting closer to. This swap in, swap out style of data means that the game engine needs to load in that new data fairly regularly. Let's run the only actual demo. Uh, this is the mini engine model viewer and it's uh, a model that has been tweaked to let direct storage work with it well. It took around 330 milliseconds to load the sort of standard model not using direct storage uh, and then uh, let's switch that over to the NMA 100 and the direct storage version and uh, damn that's just 80 milliseconds. That is a crazy difference. And if you were to extrapolate those times to a larger data set, you start to see the difference in more real terms. Loading five gigabytes of data currently would take around 30 seconds, but with direct storage, it takes a mere eight seconds. That is incredible. There is one catch though, which is that while this sample pack does contain a compressed version of the model using the Zlib compression algorithm, that decompression is still being done on the CPU, not your graphics card. So the data is still going via the CPU to be decompressed and then sent to the graphics card. Admittedly, it is still faster than the standard compressed model, but that is a feature that uh, NVIDIA's RTX IO supports and that's something Microsoft says they are working on implementing, but it isn't there just yet. And I think it needs to be before game engines will properly implement direct storage. But either way, direct storage seems to be a pretty big leap forward in how games actually run on your system and should put more emphasis on having as much bandwidth to your storage as possible. Which I suppose brings us nicely back to the sponsor of this video, Lexar and their NM800 drive. I will have this linked in the description so you can check it out or pick one up yourself. It's a great fit for everything from gaming to content creation. Like I mentioned, it already feature, or I suppose it also features low density parity check and even boasts a rather impressive three petabyte written rating, which is incredible, especially for a one terabyte drive like this. Oh, and did I mention that it will do up to 5.8 gigabytes per second in writes too? Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty crazy fast. Like I said, check it out in the link in the description and thank you to Lexar for sponsoring this video. I hope the video has been interesting, informative, useful, anything along those lines. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Once direct storage is actually implemented in some games, I'd love to check it out and see how it actively performs in the, the more real world rather than just looking at a, a model viewer. Uh, so feel free to subscribe so you don't miss that and obviously the bell notification icon as well. Feel free to check out plenty more videos on the end cards uh, as well and uh, yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it we'll see you all in the next video